Kia ora, kia ora, hara mai. greetings and welcome. I am Guru and we are in the middle of the night in Cascade Hills with my forever community in the dark side zone. Well, they've lasted six days or something like that, so I'm calling it forever. Uh, yeah, they're called the Fortress and here they are, all six of us now. Three of them were booze hounds, the rest is a completely change out from the starting characters. That's all them in the ground there, but uh, after getting whittled down to but a single character, we have built our way back up and in the last episode took out three hearts, which was a, a pretty good effort. Let's turn the water on. That's good for morale. And speaking of morale, look at that. Enthusiastic. So we're doing pretty well, doing pretty well. Now, last episode as well, and probably the one before it, I was asking about my base because we are actually trucking along quite nicely at the moment, even without a large outdoor slot. Now, I think it was Danny who suggested at first um, talk about a staging area, and I honestly have never bothered with them. Never. Um, well, maybe once. Uh, I really didn't know what they were for. I've always had enough m uh, material so that I don't have to really worry about it, but it, thinking about it, it's actually a really good suggestion because we've still got the farm to upgrade, the infirmary to upgrade, the kitchen to upgrade. We could tear down the sheltered beds and build another small facility. Uh, we could still upgrade the watchtower as well. And while I'm thinking about all this, why should I lose materials when I don't have to? So you know what? We're going to do it. Nice one. So we'll get that underway. I would love to upgrade this. We need more labor. We need more materials. That's okay. Oh, that actually takes quite a bit of... Um, bit of labor but look at that five minutes that's because of the 100 percent facility action speed oh that was 200 200 just a second ago let's get that up there we'll turn the gas on that'll be fine and we can afford to do that because we have loads of fuel rucks in our supply locker from scavenging now not 100 percent the last time we went scavenging it actually worked because i upgraded um i upgraded yeah, we'll drop that in as well. Drop some food in as well. So we actually upgraded our dark side mod. So I'm really not sure where we were scavenging beforehand. Then we upgraded and we may not have got all of those items in there. But hey, you know, we'll, we'll, you take what you can get in this game, to be honest. I don't think it's a game breaker. Our economy is still fit and healthy. And we will probably scavenge again as soon as we get the chance, which is about five minutes away. Once the um, once the staging area is complete, two minutes away. So rocking through it. Let me entertain you with my boring intro. Right now, wow, this is just uh, popped up pretty quickly. Feral down the road, probably a plague feral at this stage, but we might get lucky. We've got two missions: Prepper Aunt's campsite and the last medics. We're probably not even going to bother with this one because it's just so dangerous in there. And there could be hostiles and I don't want to engage with them and actually that'll be them there. So the hostiles are spawned in. I think they're related to this mission. They might not be, but anyway, we're not really that keen to go after them. Um, I'm more keen to go after more plague hearts, to be honest. To be honest, but it is night time. And we could go for a campsite. That could be well worth doing to warm up. So why don't we do that? Put this stuff away. Give him a great big bloody gun. Uh, you can keep that. Give him some of that. Give him some of that. This is just in case I have to switch to them quickly in the middle of a siege or any crazy stuff like that. And let's go with Chandana. You know, we could probably get a leader soon. But not yet. So think about that. What leader should I pick? Now, if uh, if you know me, you know that I don't use um, the trader outpost. But that doesn't mean we can't get a trader leader. I'd be quite interested to try that. Especially if we've got one farm at this stage. Could be quite good. All right, Echo 3? Yes, please. Because that has just, you know giving me so many options now it's fantastic and uh yeah we'll take the 
take the 22 pistol to back us up. Put one in the chamber. Always max it out if you can. And we will take the standard play cure. We're starting to run a little low on those. So what we're going to do, we'll create another play cure. We'll actually take that one with us. Oh no, that'll take a while. It'll be there when we get back. And we also want to... Oh no, straight away. Right, okay. Don't ask me what happened with that. Uh, produce meds. There we go, because that um, advances medicine and chemistry. And we've got two of each, so fantastic. Um, right, nice one. Got an espresso machine. That's awesome. Got loads of parts. Staging area is complete. 50% build action speed for 60 parts. That is not bad. Oh, we've only got 94 parts, so let's get ourselves some parts. Right, do we need anything else? Let's take a little bit of fire with us. Because we don't want to get caught on the hop. We haven't got cheap fire. We've only got expensive fire. That is just fine and dandy. Because we can make more while we wait. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. Not until we've got more parts. We've been chewing through the parts. Alright. Where's this campsite? Oh, goodness sake. <sighs> well, that's a hike. We will take the Jeep. It's a little more uh, economical. And as much fuel as what we've got, we still need to be able to... We still need to be careful that we don't burn through too many resources. You see us building... <laughs> getting two gas cans. Things might be looking rosy now, uh, but it won't take much... To upset the balance. One death. Two deaths. That's that's all it'll take. We don't have a we don't have a lot of uh, fat in this base. Okay. You usually get, get a couple rucks at least. I've got three rucks before from this mission, so I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Alright, let's check out our uh, feral friend. Standard barrel, so we're not too worried. Big old hordes. Nice one, nice one. So driving down a very familiar road. Once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. My advice, unless you're a really good driver, stick to the roads at night. Stick to the roads. And uh, we'll go this way. Alright, so we've still got to see whether the Blood Plague Juggernauts and Blood Plague Ferals are surrounded in a plague cloud, because apparently that was the latest update in uh, Darkseid. And I got the latest one. So I'm kind of expecting that's what we'll see. Which will make attacking Plague Hearts very interesting. Because often you can get away with sitting in the room with the Plague Heart and hitting it a few more times if a Feral spawns. You know, you hear the Feral, you've got a few moments, you can uh, have a few more hits and then get out of there. But if you're trapped in a room with a Blood Plague Feral, or even just in the room, not even trapped, trying to get out of the room, and it's surrounded by a Plague Cloud, that could get really, really nasty. So we might have to move to a strategy of here, Feral, get out of room. Which will make attacking Plague Hearts a lot more resource hungry. Because you you just have to spend more time. We'll have to spend more time in the vicinity. So that's always going to be a challenge. daylight comes up we're going to pick a heart i think i know the one we tried to get it last time but uh, unfortunately there was a plague jug and i don't like going after hearts with plague jugs around i mean i'll do it or if one spawns up i'll keep going but uh not a, it's not a favorite 
That was a bad throw. See, this is why we room up. Crazy, crazy. Oh, didn't see those guys. Alright. Terrible start. Better just deal with it. Chandama is very, very important. He's my pathologist. So we need to take good care of him. Okay. These dudes are crawling around the site. We'll take them out quietly. We're in no rush at night. And these guys, they can scream just as loud as anyone else. Ah, oh, auntie. That's a shame. Ooh. A zombie somewhere. Shooting max level. What should we go for, folks? Assault weapons handling. Hmm, this guy? Have we got a weapons handler already? I mean, we've got a couple people ready to go up and shooting. Okay, so we... Uh, Jeff. Okay, got someone coming in. We'll think about it. I've thought about it. Firearm sway, reload speed. Reload speed. Got to be happy with that. Assault has got better since they uh, enabled you to carry more ammo per stack. That's pretty cool. And the assault kick always knocks the zombie down, so that is actually pretty good. Won't say no to a preppers. Some bats, some stims, yes please. Okay, we'll leave him up there doing his thing. Steady as she goes, mate. Steady as she goes at this stage. Another crossbow. Uh, was there anything else? That that was it. Okay. I think we can take that. No, we can't. Okay. here quickly and quietly don't really have a lot lot to gain by killing all these dudes for the sake of one backpack and one plague sample and some a knife and a standard backpack, we'll just get out of here, I think. Alright, is there anything else we can do on this side of the map, though? Blood Plague Feral. We could see the, the medics. Now, he doesn't seem to have a Blood Plague, like a Plague Cloud. Nah, definitely not. Which is, which is fine. To be honest, I'm okay with that. Wow, there are a lot of zombies. In infestation? Is that actually infested? Probably is. Okay, we're just kind of having a cruise and a look around.
We're not really equipped to do anything spectacular. I'll tell you what we can. Oh, we can go up to the military comms station. And last time the game crashed when I did that. So I'd like to see whether it crashes now. That I've upgraded. It's a bit of a risk. But hey. I think I'm going the right way. Lost my fingers. Actually, it doesn't feel like I am. Well, we are so lucky to get out of that. I was very, very worried, and I couldn't get out of the car. Let's try that again. Don't do that at home, folks. Don't do that. How the, how the hell did I... Where did I think I was? Hmm. Yeah, so I came down here. Yeah, I definitely came down here. Oh, was it the next one over? Ah, uh, I did not go far enough. My mistake. All right, seven containers to search in this place, plus the campsite. Lucky the cars are tougher in uh, in dark side. That was lethal zone, my truck, my jeep would have blown up for sure. Ah. All right. bit rough to the to the start of the game okay this looks pretty infested so this is this is a good sign though this means the infestations are working wow yep they sure are let's go oh we can get that guy Oh, he bit me! Holy crap. Yeah, all right, all right. Bit annoyed about that. Oh, you have to wait a while for those to take effect. Are we carrying too much stuff? I think we possibly are. You know what? <laughs> That's what we want. Yep. That's what we want. Now, I think we took out two Screamers. No, we took out one Screamer. Yeah. 
It is dark. It is so dark. It's, according to this, we didn't take out a single zombie of the infestation. Shivers. All right. Making some bad choices here, I'm sure of it. Damn, he got up again. Going back. Failed to load our gun because we picked up a piece of candy. One screamer. Sound like a yell, didn't it? This better be worth it. I don't think it is going to be worth it. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's probably time to go. He says it's time to go. I'm still here. Holy crap. Well, the good news is it didn't crash, so that was the main test. Because in a previous episode, we came up here and it crashed a lot. Like three times and even left me there. Uh, it sent me home and left my car there, which was not great. So we'll take this as a learning experience and we'll get back to base. With the preppers. And we've got a visitor. So let's go check what they're about. Sun's coming up. Time to switch targets to Blake Hearts. Mmm, Blake Feral's turning up. We're lucky one didn't turn up when we were uh, mucking around there. We've been in big trouble. I am pushing the game a little bit just to see what it's going to throw at me. Doesn't feel too bad so far, but... Hmm. A long way to go. McCabe might want to come to a play cart with me. Depends what they want. But we'll get Chandana back in the, uh... in the infirmary to rest up. We pushed that a bit hard. That was uneconomical.
But hey. We wanted to test out how it was going to go. Okay. Let's give him a decent gun. I suppose that'll do it. And, uh, yeah. Let's change out. So who are we going to talk to? We need to talk to McCabe. So let's go do that. Right. Oh, what's happened? Right. Uh, yes, let's get... Um, Let's get what uh, Chandana in the infirmary. Good work. And play cart time. I think we'll take Rachel, our tank. He's very nearly a hero. Well, hey there. Oh, she's carrying a food rock. That's always nice. Uh, where's McCabe? Off this, first things first. We're still silent. Now, apparently, that's a glitch, I've been told. When you uh, build a watchtower. So, I think I'm expecting a hotfix to come out. My lead labs and, and, um, and sort that out. That's my understanding. I don't know if it's true or not. It would be nice if it was. Get some of the good stuff. And loads of fire. We need way more fire than that. That's where all our parts are going. Into flame and fire. We've got to be a bit more careful. And yeah, we will take one of those. That's not great. But it is silent. And somehow we're out of fuel. Ah, because we just used it. So let's put some of that in the. Uh... This is seriously too heavy. Now resources. Now storage. Should make some more energy drinks as well. Okay, back up 9 mil. Yes. Uh, more crossbow bolts. You know, I'm going to say yes if we can afford it. 40 parts. Ooh. Oh, we need to put in the bolt, bolt kit before we do that. So, and we want to scavenge. Oops. Did she say a juggernaut? We don't want that. Five ammo. Okay, we're doing it. Uh, let's make some more energy drinks. That's it's pretty good. Right. More parts. More of those. Okay, take one of those. First use, second use, or possibly even the other way around. Um, right, so we don't have much in the way of crossbow bolts. We'll put that in. Actually, let's do that now. Oh, yeah, 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 well, we can do that. Um, and we'll grab a heavy... We'll grab our sledgy as we do. Oof. It's a bit buggered. Rive shaft club it is. You use what you got. All right, McCabe, where are you? Outside the gate. Outside the gate. Hang on. Sorry, folks. Wow, it's starting to freaking ick.
we might have to clear some of this area out. Just don't want this stuff wandering into our base. Because even a very little siege can draw all of that stuff in, and that would not be great. I'm pretty sure that's McCabe at the top there, on top of the fuel tank. And we need to primary care up ourselves if we're going in against the heart. Let's see, what do you got, McCabe? A big ass gun. Uh, zombie, eh? Could come in handy. Uh, you need plague samples. Very good. I know where to get plague samples from. Put that away. Okay, so we've still got a bit of weight. Uh, that's done. Sweet. Yes, please. That's nice. I really don't want that screamer getting close. There's another screamer out there. Okay, we'll take him out. Right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how we get on with that. So the play card I want to take out or investigate is this one. It's in a house, which is tricky. Uh, where's the screen? Up there. Up on yonder hill with bloaters. Oof. Go up and sort them out, actually. All right. uh, what kind of range is that? 65 meters. What a lovely morning. We're going to check it out. If they're plague bloaters, they might have to go. You just got to protect yourself, man. Protect yourself at all times. Normal screamer, plague screamer. Ah, oh, he blinked. Yeah. Get them in a group. Uh, hit that bloater and he didn't die. And another one, so we'll pop in and then we go. We got a deadhead coming this way. Good shot. All right, so long. I'm so exhausted. You're fine. Cool job done. It's important to do this stuff, eh? In dark side. Uh, screamers. Oh, wow, look at them over there. And they've popped up on the road again. Oh, I see. Didn't like that. Get him. Good shooting. Good shooting. Nice work, McCabe. Ah, McCabe, you've done it again. Uh, fuel? 
Yeah, fuel. For that. Okay, off to the play card, I think. We'll smash that screamer on the way out. The one that I was just pointing at. Yes, yes, I know that wasn't very useful. Okay, you don't get a door, I'm afraid. You have to earn your doors around here. Ah, oh, super smart. Not a whole mess of zombies up there. All right. So we have to be careful if we go back for a siege that um, that we clear the other end of the road out past the shed that we were looking uh, that's across the road. Right, hopefully the cave has my back. And no juggernaut, please. That zombie horde's coming our way. Hey, no free rides. All right. Plague samples, eh? You want some plague samples. Using an invisible gun. Very nice. Don't see those every day. Oh. Zombie changed his mind. But who was after? We are probably going to have to uh, pop a stim. No chance of the Rachel. Ooh. All right, what are we dealing with? This one. Okay, so we're thinking three hits. One, two. It seems three hits is, is the way. Good luck, McCabe. I hope you find your samples. Better feel sure is. If I could hit a fucking hair barrel in the head, I would. way that is not like this not like this okay either window is fine nope she's dead
Could have brought some more health. Why am I doing that when I have a juggernaut chasing me? That's just greedy. Sounds fearless. Pretty sure I got powerhouse. Nope. Bad move. I thought I had powerhouse with the uh... Rachel, but I don't. Tell you what, we'll go down to our uh, infirmer, uh, our outpost, and we'll reassess our options. it's a little bit safe all right so shooting um let's go with weapons handling cardio as you know red talent gives a lot of freedom to its local partners freedom is what we're about we'll go with marathon someone at camp Erie has overstepped their bounds we'll deal with that i promise you but stirring up contention between survivors is not our way all right Baez wants to fight I just want to fix things. That's awfully nice. Okay, okay, so let's, uh... You know what I didn't do? I didn't primary care. Will that affect me out of the base? So... It should do, right? So uh, my health is 173 like this. Now if I primary care the three. Uh, now it is 207. Sweet. So it is working. That's great. Um, you know, let's take that. that. Uh, more fire. That seemed to work for me. Let's get back up there. And no, I don't have powerhouse. So, move switching off heavy weapon. And, uh, drop kicking... Barrels. Oh, goodness sake. We're going to have to flame these guys. This 
is a bit more of an expensive uh, outpost. Uh, make up. I've got a feeling that it's going to pop. Still cloudy in there. All right, that worked all right. Did you see that? The fire bombs. The fire bombs. Yeah, we're getting it. Damaged AK for sure. That's a lot of stuff. This is all good stuff. Materials recycling disabled. Electric light disabled. Crank it back up. And a fat loot. Great. Let's get this in the car. Or let nothing here. He's angry. Angry so long. I don't mind as long as he doesn't know where I am. He knows where I am. I'm so exhausted. Zombies. All right, Mr. Juggernaut. Hmm. Hmm. We'll be back. There is still looting to be had. We'll just get some more appropriate uh, and cheaper energy options. drop some stuff off all right so don't need to carry that put that away put that away and um, need those take some cheap stuff that should be good enough don't need any more than 20 bullets fire bombs because we get troubled nice okay anything in in the trunk Oh, we got good stuff in the trunk. I didn't even... I should have checked, really, shouldn't I? Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. So on that heart, you know, I was really nervous about getting trapped in that room, so I backed out across the hall and used those fuel bombs, and that seemed pretty effective. I don't recall it phasing twice, unless it moves straight past this uh, second phase. And just burnt up, you know? I don't think Juggernaut despawn. It did, we got off lightly, that's for sure. I hit him in the head. I didn't mean to. Hmm. Alright, forget about those guys. Nice work, Rachel. Another plague heart down. Excellent. And we'll take that. Take the hiking pack, though. I think everyone's got eight slots now. Yum. Let's 
put something down first. Let's put that down. Let's take that. Building more, eh? That is actually probably worth coming back for. Yeah, we'll come back for all this stuff. Okay. Trunk, trunk, trunk. Right, six stims. That's pretty good. We we have got the the uh, means to keep destroying play cards. Keep pushing them down. What does that do to the map? Clears it up a little bit. Maybe the unfinished house is our next target. leave those guys to pound on the door we don't need to pander to them let's get out of here get these rucksacks back it's blue more hopeless don't like it it's good enough right uh rare skills trader now what's our influence 3200 so that is definitely a possibility uh, we'll come back for that piece of candy later I will stop for crossbow quarrels and plague samples you've seen me do it you see me nearly get killed doing it and I just simply will not learn Yeah, well. Ah. We could give them some strong painkillers. Because I think you can do that, and that just buys the uh, buys the raiders out. But then they stay on the map. Yeah, my gut feel is I don't even have to worry about it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We lose the encouragement or whatever it is, the medical help, which I never use. Putting, putting. Uh, break open. Oh, ammo. Excellent. That's fantastic. Yeah, ammo ammo's the, uh, the the tricky resource for us because we can chew through it really quickly um, by scavenging. But the scavenging economy comes in really, really great when you've got the accelerated global um, action speed. And what we could do is if we went uh, and got a scrum book from the rare trip, um, excuse me, the rare skills trader, we could be looking at, I mean, what's the time at the moment? 17 minutes. I can't remember when we started it. But you end up with like a 45 minute turnaround. And that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. No, not street drugs like painkillers and sleep aids stuff we could use what do you think let's wait and see what happens okay yeah, well jeff's been pretty handy so far and um, apparently drank an energy drink for no good reason 
other than they're delicious. So, well, there we go. Um, right, so we got... Okay, so Rachel's a little bit beaten up, but not so you'd notice. Hmm, yes, yes. Uh, so, options. That's a uh, zombie dense area. I didn't realise that. Hmm, I did not realise that. I mean, we've nearly cleared out that town. So, voice of reason, plus five max health. Mm, not particularly good, but trader leader. Do we make Rachel my leader? Second question, does she learn utilities? Now, I think with utilities, we could tear this down, for instance. That gives me two beds. We could tear that down and um, maybe build a hydroponics. What do you think? Get that food economy going. Yumma yumma. Um, Alright, what's, what's the status? So we've still got bolts. We'll leave the bolt cutter in there. No, we won't. We'll drop it out. Put this guy in. Right, we've been going almost an hour. And I'm thinking that I might just wrap it up there. And that will leave us um, to start the next episode during the daytime for once. And being able to take on maybe that play cart there. I think we can do it. Oh no, that's not the unfinished house. This one. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. And we'll see whether that uh, opens up the town for um, subsequent looting. We could also go after some of these infestations because they're good for morale, and if we are going to loot, we'll need to clear those out. So yeah, next episode, I think, we'll take on the unfinished house. If that clears the map, we'll take on those uh, infestations and clear them out. Uh, Jeff Stash will come back at some point. Rare Skills Trader, we're okay for now. I would like a computer's book, though, so that we can upgrade to command level three but a lot of water under the bridge water under the bridge no a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of time to go before we before we do that sorry i uh, did not get much sleep last night excuses for my rambling thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it just the one play cart this time folks um well you get days like that um but hopefully next time we'll uh, we'll knock them about a little bit more and i hope to see you there awesome thank you so much um, for hitting that like button i really appreciate that thanks for your comments keep them coming um keep reminding me camille to use um freaking primary care because i just forget um and let me know what you think about uh who my leader should be i'm quite happy to go with rachel to be honest and could i do though the meds the medics mission could i do the medics mission let me know i'll do what you say cool Till next time, have a good day. Bye for now.